ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name is Billify, and today we are here to count our glow. Which glove is that? Why, of course, it's the Tinker Glow. going to be the amazing goobers that are going to be helping us to figure out what counters what. I appreciate every single one of you. We got Crafty, Chaos, and Bio. Thank you so much. So with the first counter on our list, I'm going to have Default. Alright, so if you have one of these little goobers chasing you, you can use the Default Glove to get speed and outrun it. You're going to have to use this speed boost to go to the side of an edge the same way you would... Oh! You can outrun it to where it stops targeting. That's interesting. You could outrun it to where it stops targeting or go to the side of the edge here and make it go off. That is a great way to use Default. They struggle hard with bridges so if you have any of these go on a bridge they cannot get over this little bump they'd have to spawn them on top so we can definitely recommend the default glove for this as you can escape pretty well i don't think the rocks are actually going to kill the little tinker bot it's just going to sit there and wait for you to get out of your rock so diamond mega rock and custom i think they just sit at the side they will sit there and wait for you to get out of the rock so you are basically just pinned in here so this is going to be one of the rare gloves that the diamonds and the rocks all of them are not counters you can stay safe and wait for them to despawn but are you really gonna want to sit here and wait for them to despawn <laughs> oh no <laughs> look at the one under there <laughs> so what happens if you're in the z form will that protect you this this ability surprises me quite a bit oh my goodness are you are you joking are you safe they don't target somebody that's on the ground <laughs> you're safe you're safe! That's unbelievable. That's absolutely wild. The way Z's works, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I love it. A great counter you could use to make them stop chasing you is the Flash. If you have one of these chasing you, use the Flash Glove, and it's already gone after you use your ability. So Flash is a major counter to this. Swapper can actually be a pretty good glove to use against this, because you're gonna Swapper somebody in your place. If you Swapper somebody that's not the original caster, then you have a very, very good chance of them exploding immediately. But say you have one of these chasing you. If you swapper to somebody that is not you they now have it on them and you're good to go but even if you were to swap her to someone who actually casted it we swap the same user you just give yourself a little bit more space so make sure with swapper you're doing it with somebody that did not use the ability you are not safe in ghost mode <laughs> you are not safe you can see me but can you see me now yes yes you can they can definitely see me can they target you while you are in Yep, they can target you while you are in ghost form. So you can use the saving trio to save you. The Thanos, the Adios, and the Recall. All of these will save you from an explosion after you get hit. Use these to fly back in the arena. Fort's gonna have an ability here! Oh my goodness! I can't believe I'm about to say that Fort is gonna be a counter. So if you have one of these little gooblets and they're coming, if you place a wall... Oh, <laughs> bad spawn. These things cannot go through the wall. So if you sit on the opposite side, you're good to go. You can't slap them or hit them or anything, but you can create a wall to where you're not going to get hit. <laughs> Just be very aware of where you, what your surroundings are. Oh, this is how I die. So again, fort can be used, but is it your best option? Probably not. Can you use the pusher wall to push away the little decoy drones that are chasing you? I'm gonna go along the lines and say yes, but it takes so long for you to get your ability that I don't know if I could really recommend it just for how incredibly long it takes to get your wall. But you can see it does push away these little tinker drones and you can create some massive distance. They will stop tracking you by the time they are done if you stay straight. You can use the space glove if they're going after you. Use your space ability and just fly up in the air. You're so far out of their sight that they stop targeting you. So space is actually a massive counter. I'm going to give this the golden trophy. I was sleeping on it at the start and then realized halfway through. <laughs> now a fantastic counter. One of the top counters for this is going to be Dream. They run the same speed as you so having more speed gives you the advantage to avoid them all right so we have this one here all we have to do is outrun it and look at that it goes to green it stops chasing dream is a massive massive w of a glove and you could also bring these and chase other people with them so it'll make them go after that if you bring it towards them now will the golden ability save you my goodness <laughs> oh! oh it won't even target you while you're in your golden ability if we are targeted and go golden Yep, you are safe and good to go. You can definitely use Cheeky as a top counter here. All right, so we're being targeted, right? What do we do? What do we do? Just roll away. Look at this. They stop targeting you. It's so good. Now, even if you do get hit, oh my goodness, they don't explode. Oh my gosh, I thought they exploded. They don't. So I guess the bots need a human body to hit. And because this is a boulder, it can't hit the human body. Cheeky will keep you absolutely safe. So a question we'd like to see here is, can the replica clones or any clones be targeted by these bots? No, no, they cannot. 
they cannot even get hit by the explosion. Because replica clones aren't targeted and cannot be hit by the explosion even if they are close, replica actually works out very, very well against them. Oh my goodness. Believe it or not, defense is gonna work. It's been so long. Defense users, are you happy? Yeah, defense users, look at you. Look at you go. Whoa. Okay, so they can't place it through the wall. That's good to know. <laughs> as long as you stay away from their slappers, you're good to go. They can't get these robots in here at all. Ivan made a good point there and said, if you walk back far enough, they might change targets, which is absolutely true. They're going to be stuck on that wall. So if you head directly backwards, they will stop targeting you and go after somebody else. So that is a very, very, very good point, Ivan. If you are an upgraded kill streak with speed, you can definitely avoid them and have like no issues. But a question I would love to see is reverse. What does reverse do against these? So if you are a reverse, it will do nothing. Do not use reverse. <laughs> do animations save you? That's the thing to see here. And we use this ability. Yeah. Yep. Shikuchi's gonna be very, very good to use as once you get hit, you can't be moved. You're in an animation. <laughs> so all being that, Shikuchi, go to use it. So you can use the duelist glove. What I want to know is if they'll spawn in that arena. So if they're targeting you, just use your arena, get teleported, you're good to go. They can use these robots in here and they will target you. So keep that in mind. Try not to fight these users as they will have a big advantage over you. This works, but it's not something I would personally use. Again, Audios will work just like Thanos and Recall, but we're looking for better. If you have one of them blocked, can their little bots still attack you? I'm gonna go out and say yes. That is my prediction. Yep, you are not safe. And I don't think you'll be safe with buddies either. So we'll grab buddies. Still targeted. Yep, blocked in buddies is a no-go for these. So a very odd question I have is, can you throw a rock at them? I don't think it's going to do anything, but on the off chance it does, how funny would it be? <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> So with distance, they push out of the way. The farther they are, I think the better reaction you're gonna get. So if you see them coming, hug a boulder at them. <laughs> it made him get lost. <laughs> Rocky can work, but is this gonna be the option you're gonna wanna use? Not really, not really, not in my opinion. Balloony is just gonna be like space, but it's gonna be a lot better and more effective. So if you're fighting, you have balloons. Oh no, you've been targeted. Just jump up in the air, <laughs> just jump up in the air. And then the poor goober over there that is just a bystander gets absolutely decimated. <laughs> <laughs> Balloony is definitely the way to go. So you can use the phantom speed to get away from it, but like Ghost, you can still be seen during the phantom phase. So this is primarily going to be used like default, like exactly like default. Use this to run away and gain speed. By the time you get your second use, I would say, maybe at most three, you should be able to evade it. I don't feel like I need to show you this because I don't feel like it's a glove you should use. <laughs> if you have a wormhole set up, yes, absolutely. But <laughs> I'm going to skip this. <laughs> So the track glove is not a counter, it's a deterrent glove. Table flip, I don't think will hit the robots. I think this is just going to be a deterrent glove. If they keep throwing robots at you, throw a table at them. So you have them chasing, heave a table. Yep, not good for you. You could also get on top of this. Anything with height is going to be your friend. But yeah, tables won't hit them, so it's a deterrent. Track's a deterrent, table flip's a deterrent, shield's an L. I'll show you. Yep, shield always taking L's. <laughs> <laughs> Shield is there for just the slap fighting. Ping pong's a deterrent. It cannot hit the robots, so it's just like table flip. So the ballers that spawn cannot be targeted by these clones, meaning they're gonna have to go up and slap it. So in a way, you can say baller is a counter, but it's not like a super counter because baller's gonna be throwing balls at everybody, not just the person you're wanting to evade. Yep, right around baller to target me. So the baller can be used, but it's not something I would personally use. So the whirlwind's new ability is awesome, letting you hit players where you want to hit them this time. If you're using the whirlwind, it's a great way to escape. I highly recommend it. If you're being chased down like this, use your ability. They'll stop targeting you and you can go after somebody else. So the slicer blade is gonna be exactly like ping pong and table flip and track. It's a deterrent. It cannot hit the little bots. What happens when you use excavator though? All right, so if you are being targeted, if you go under Underneath the ground, they just immediately explode or they stop targeting you. Ooh, Excavator is a fantastic way to get these off of you. So prime example, if you are being chased, use your ability, it will explode them and you can go right back out of it. Excavator is going to take a W here. Can the Thor ability hit these robots back? Seeing as stun did nothing, I'm going to say Thor is going to do nothing as well. All right, we use it. Ooh, 
So the Thor's thunder does absolutely nothing, but it's like Shikuchi. When you're in the animation, it'll explode on you and do nothing. So any animation glove is going to be very, very good for this, like Rojo, since it has such a long ability timer. Now you can for sure use the cloud glove to escape. The robots aren't going to chase you up in the sky. So if they are casted on you, they can't even get to you in the first place as you're in a cloud. Oh, even if you explode, you don't get flown off. Yo, you can rain these things from the sky. That's hilarious. They wouldn't even know it's coming. Yeah, this is sky bombs. So with Cloudy, not only is it a counter, it's an awesome combo, making this probably one of the best gloves right now. The brand new Guardian Angel glove will absolutely save a friend, but not you, unless you've been Guardian Angeled. <laughs> so if you've been Guardian Angeled, oh, guess what? You're good. <laughs> <laughs> you can't die! Wow! But you can't use it on yourself, you have to use it on a friend. So, with God's Hand, are they able to travel during the time stop? So they can still spawn them in during. So if there was nobody close as they were spawning them in, they would target you. So because the time stop does not stop the bots themselves, we're not going to recommend the God's Hand for you. Spectator will keep you safe, but you can't do anything. <laughs> Ultra Instinct will not protect you here. You could absolutely use the Acrobat Glove to get away from these bots and make them stop targeting you. So if you're being chased, use your ability let them stop targeting you. It only took one roll for me to evade that. So Acrobat is definitely going to be a very high tiered glove to use. You could surprise the user casting out all of these robots with a bust to the face. They won't see that coming, but nah, this is more of a deterrent than a counter. Phase, you can't be hit because you're phase. So you've been targeted, use phase. They'll explode and they can't do anything against you. Phase is always a massive W and a top counter. Warp can be an amazing counter, but you have to slap someone. And that makes me not want to put it as a counter because I'm trying to look for things where people don't have to look for another user. So if you have somebody slapped, all you'd have to do is go next to some random person and then swap. They will now target that user instead of you. As long as you use that method, you can stay safe with warp. Is it the best option? No, because you're required to have another user slap. The bomb, bubble, jet, shard, and bob gloves are all deterrents. These are not counters. These will not affect Effect the little bots on the ground. The only thing that could be anything is bomb and you can use this to create distance by exploding it on yourself. Throw the bomb directly forward. Once you get hit, blow up backwards and it will blow up that little robot without giving you the ragdoll. So I think that this could be used as a massive, massive W. So the Jupiter glove will be great for knockback reduction. This is what Cheeky would have done if it exploded on Cheeky. So when you get hit, you take like no knockback. Yeah, this thing is such a great thing for knockback reduction because you do not go far at all. So you can get hit, stay in the competition and be good. I just got hit with three straight and look where I'm at. I could get hit right here and still be good. You could use speed with rage. That would work, but I'm looking for better. The hybrid glove will be awesome. All you have to do is swap over to the green and you're good to go. So with a speed boost, if you are targeted, all you have to do with the hybrid glove, it's just like dream, just a little bit slower. Just outpace them, outrun them. You're you're good. Look at that. Went right after somebody else because it didn't know what to do. You could also swap over to the Jupiter mode, and even if you get hit, probably not as close to the edge as I was, it will keep you safe. <laughs> Massive counter to this is going to be Slapple. So with the tree, the way you have to use this to make it work well is if you're being targeted and you have one going after you, use your tree and then look at where the next goobers are going to be placed. So if they're in the front of this tree, when you go to pop your next tree, jump in the back and then do it so that when they are sitting next to it, this gets stuck on the tree and they can't go forward, the bots. That's the way you would use Slapple. What happens if you're in Larry? So you could absolutely use Larry to escape the targeting because they can't catch up. But keep in mind, if they do explode on you, it will not make your Larry red. Now, a fantastic counter for this is going to be charge. As soon as they are targeting like this, use your glove and just go a different way. They're not going to be able to catch up to you and they're going to end up wandering off the edge just like that. If you have faster speeds with Tycoon, you can outpace them, but it's not going to be a glove I recommend. I don't think the glitch does anything. I think this is just a deterrent to make them stop throwing robots at you. Yo, what was that? Yeah, it like pushes it out of the way. Okay, not a counter, just a deterrent. Elude is not gonna save you. This is an explosion, not a slap. Yep, you will still be hit. Fish is an amazing counter because even if you get hit, just flop right back into the arena or if you're being targeted, just flop away and they will lose track of you. So we're being targeted, oh no. 
Just fling yourself. Guess what? They lost sight of you. They don't know what to do. <laughs> they are right in chat. It could be a combo. All you'd have to do is take the robots next to somebody and then flop away and then they'll target that person instead of you. So you could use that combo. If you have Obby, this could actually be a counter. I haven't added Obby to a counters and I couldn't even tell you how long. Just run, jump, and then as soon as you are at a place you can, climb up your pillar. You can continue to build from here, but be wary. You are using a glove that is heavily targeted. So this isn't a counter. This just works works, you know? I don't think Luda's gonna work here because it doesn't target clones. Nope, they do not go after clones. So even if it explodes next to it, I don't think it will do much. Don't use Voodoo. If you have them leashed, can they still call out their battle bots? Yes, yes they can. They can still spawn them in while they are leashed, but because you are leashed, you're not gonna go that far. You could absolutely use the Sparky Glove to evade them. Oh no, he targeted me. What do I do? I don't know. Probably use your ability and run. <laughs> Look at this, ready? And he stopped targeting just after that. And I still have so much sparky ability to use. You can use the psycho ability, the telekinesis jump to evade. If they're coming after you. You could use the telekinesis to fly right over it and get to an island if you need to. But you also have like a slight speed boost as well. So you can use this to go and evade it like default and dream and all the other speed gloves. So psycho works out very, very, very well in that sense. So can you spawn them in while being held? Yes, absolutely you can. As a psycho user, be weary of that. Counter is not gonna work here. This is gonna be like table flip version 58. That's an inside joke. What it means is your character's gonna take no knockback and it's just gonna like hang in the air for a second. You're being chased. Aha! Yep, table flip. <laughs> <laughs> Rob is amazing. Rob is always a massive counter to everything and I love it so much. Oh no, I'm being targeted. What shall I do? Oh, use your ability. <laughs> it won't even target you while you're in the Rob form, which is hilarious. Rhythm can be a fantastic counter as long as you get up in speed, which should not be too hard with rhythm at all. You really only need like 50. Even with 18, I am getting distance on these things. I already lost one. Yep. At 28, 29, I'm already losing them. So look how easy it is when you're up to 50, which is double the number that we were just at beforehand. Already, I am gone. So we can highly suggest the Rhythm Glove, as this is a very good counter. Same thing with Rojo. This is an animation, so if you have a bunch of robots chasing you down, just use your ability, they're gonna explode next to you, and they're not gonna do anything, no knockback, nothing. As soon as you're targeted, use your ability, they're gonna run into you, they're gonna explode, and you're gonna be good to go. So with the Hitman's Warp ability, it's like Dream or anything else with speed to get you away from from those robots to make them stop targeting you. I wouldn't consider Hitman a counter. I would just say the warp ability in the Hitman is good. Now Retro, you can absolutely use Retro. You can use the hammer and you can use the rocket launcher to attack the goobers. But if you are close enough to where these robots are gonna be chasing you, swap over to the bomb. And once you are being chased, use the bomb fly yourself away. It gives you such a speed boost that even with one explosion, I was able to avoid them. So he's targeting me, he's targeting me, use the bomb, and now he's not targeting me. It's just like Acrobat. One take. Null is a deterrent glove. If they keep chasing you, spawn these null minions on them, it might deter them from chasing you. <laughs> and you can always use a tinker bot against a tinker bot and have that battle. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode. It was amazing to record this. This was very late. I don't know if I got this out on time. If I did, I'd just I did not sleep. <laughs> Shout out to everybody that came out and helped. We had some new faces here. I appreciate you all for coming and supporting. It's all crafty bio and chaos. Thank you so much. I hope that every single one of you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you do end up watching this. And I shall see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>